Hi guys and welcome to Cooking with Karma. Now this week is all about Easter. On Monday I showed you how to make those very delicious hot cross muffins and today we're going to make some Reese's peanut butter eggs. And I'm going to show you how to make them in a couple of different ways. They're really easy to make and you only need a few ingredients. So I really hope you like them. Let's get started and I'll show you how to make them. Into a bowl with the icing sugar we're going to add in the peanut butter a pinch of salt, then give that a good mix together until everything is well combined and it comes together almost like a dough. Once that's firmed up in the fridge, we're going to take small portions and roll them into a ball, then shape them into an oval egg shape. Now the second way is rolling them into a ball and then flattening them out just like the real Reese's peanut butter eggs and flattening them into an egg shape just like this. Then we're going to pop those into the freezer for about 10 to 20 minutes. While they're in the freezer we're going to melt some chocolate and then set that to one side to cool. Then all we need to do is drop our eggs into the chocolate making sure the bottom is covered and then drizzling over more chocolate until the whole egg is covered completely. Shake off any excess and then pop them onto a tray that's been lined with some baking paper. Then into the fridge to set. Now for the third way in making these, we're going to melt some chocolate. Then using some Easter egg moulds, we're going to paint the inside. Making sure that it's well covered. Popping them into the fridge for about 10 minutes and then we're going to give those a second coating. Then back into the fridge to set for another 10 minutes. Then all we need to do is spoon in some of our peanut butter mixture. Then gently press it down with your finger. Then back into the fridge for a final 10 minutes. Taking some of our melted chocolate, we're just going to drizzle that around the edges of our egg. Taking a second half, we're then going to press those together. Wipe off any excess. Then back into the fridge to set for a final 10 minutes. With that incredibly creamy peanut butter centre encased in delicious chocolate, these are definitely bound to be a hit at Easter time, so I really hope you give them a go. So thanks again for joining me, have a fabulous weekend, and I'll see you all next time on Cooking with Karma.